I was at Waffle House this morning in uh, north of Houston, Texas, and uh, you can learn a lot about life at Waffle House listening in to conversations. Not so much eavesdropping as just, um, well, it's eavesdropping, but, but uh, it, it's kind of fun to listen to human nature. One person was just talking about what they have lost in life and how they don't have this and they don't have that anymore. Listen to what this ancient writer once said. He said, it is a wise man who does not grieve for the things that he has not, but rejoices for those which he has. What a dramatic shift this is. When we no longer grieve over what we don't have, but we rejoice in what we do have. Those of you that do the gratitude to God system that we have yearly, you know that this is one of the core values of this. To look every day, to see the good, to see what you're grateful for, to, to rejoice in the things that most people miss. You know, it's getting cooler in Texas, and there was a cool breeze, a little bit of fog, and it was just, well, that alone was a spiritual experience, just being out. But some people, they're so busy in their regrets that they can't see what is right before their face right now. So this entire week, I ask you to look at what is right before your face right now. Even if you have problems, everybody has problems. I have problems. And yes, I'd like them to go away. But I prefer and I make a conscious decision to look to the good. And it changes everything in my life. It will change everything in your life beginning this week. This is a life code. Uh, it's important that we have this code of standard in our life. What we decide inside of ourselves, the way we're going to live. Now, you may not have lived this way in the, the, the past. I know that there was a lot of my life that I constantly looked to the bad, was a complainer, the whole thing, until I had a wake-up call that says, hey, this isn't working for you. And it took me longer than it should have to discover what I'm telling you today. Have a life code that you set up for yourself. And so often we spend so much time in our lives fretting over what we don't have that we miss what we do have. So this week, turn that around. Don't wait for your problems to be solved and everything. Turn it around and rejoice over the many things that we have to enjoy in life. And we'll come to enjoy them even more. We will have such a rejoicing. It will cause a chain reaction and life continually gets better. We draw it to ourselves it gets so good you can't believe it. You have to pinch yourself to say, can this be real? <laughs> and it is. Because you're one with God. God is walking with you and continually making it as good as you can accept in your free will. God bless you. God bless your week.